Hi, this is Gigi with Living Real on the Price of Business, and I'm at the Texas Women Conference. And I am standing here with James Beckerman, and he had uh, done a, a, a speaking engagement earlier today, and um, he is a, a cardiologist out of Portland, and he has a great message uh, that I think that you listeners will enjoy hearing, and here he is. Hi there, thanks so much. Um, so today we talked a lot about uh, the concept of health esteem mm -hmm. and people are used to hearing self-esteem and not thinking about their health very much in terms of that. But the message that uh, we tried to put forward um, is the idea that the health related decisions that we make every day should not define our self-worth. Mm -hmm. And we're so used to uh, being in this cycle in which we punish ourselves for making poor decisions for getting the dessert or for taking the elevator instead of the stairs, we punish ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we end up having a lower self-worth because of these decisions that we make. Mm -hmm. And so one of the messages that I think that people should take is before you are concentrating on your physical health, you need to get your mental house in order too mm -hmm. and, re and realize that the those decisions that you make or don't make don't define you. Right. I know exactly what you're talking about because um, about four years ago, I uh, started working out with a trainer mm -hmm. and I did everything she said and I actually, I, I lost 35 pounds and, um, but I knew there was something more. I mean, there was something more and a lot of it was the way I was thinking about things. And, right. and once I made that shift and really understood who I was, um, it's like my purpose and, and where I was going in life all came forward for me. Yeah, it's sort of amazing that even when you're feeling fit or you're eating right or you're doing everything by the book, if you don't feel good about yourself inside, mm -hmm. none of that stuff really matters. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I sort of feel like we can't really have physical health unless we have mental health. Mm -hmm. And they're very intertwined, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so my message is one of trying to put uh, the health into self uh, uh -huh. esteem and also recognizing that we need to celebrate the fact that we're individuals and we're going to go about it differently. Right. It's, um, it's very, uh, your methodology is different than most doctors. Most doctors, especially because you specialize in cardiology, would think, well, I want to, we need to focus on, you know, eating well and your health. And I, I like your methodology. Well, you know, all that stuff is important, and, you know, I'd be remiss if I, you know, wouldn't recommend right. those things, but I think that the reality is, is that it's the message that makes us act. Mm -hmm. And don't you think also, though, that you would make different choices if you did feel good about yourself already? Absolutely, and clearly, people who are highly motivated at, to make uh, positive changes in their lives the reason why they're successful is because they believe in their in themselves to begin with. Mm -hmm. I um, also know that you wrote a book, and um, why don't you tell the title? I can't remember quite what the name is, but yeah, you wrote your book. Tell us a little bit about your book. Sure. It's called The Flex Diet, and the whole concept of the book is that flex stands for flexibility mm -hmm. and realizing that there are hundreds of different things people can do to get healthier. You don't got to do all of them. And the ones that you're going to do are going to be different than the ones that I'm going to do. And the reality is there are things that I recommend in the book that I can't even do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you have a busy life or you have a crazy family or you have a job or other limitations or challenges. And you've got to make things work for you. And you don't have to conform to the same rigid set of rules that you feel like everybody else needs to. Right. That way you can set yourself up to succeed rather than fail if you don't meet some high ideal. Mm -hmm. um, today, at the, or actually the last couple of days at the Women's Conference has been mostly you know, women speakers. So I was a little curious, how did you get um, involved with the Texas Women's Conference? Yeah, a lot of people have been wondering that. <laughs> and I, I get some funny looks as I've been walking around the convention center. It's definitely been uh, a unique experience for me. <laughs> but I, I have had the pleasure of uh, tag teaming, so to speak, uh, and co-speaking uh, with Jess Wiener. Uh, who's a self-esteem uh, expert mm -hmm. and also uh, an expert around issues of body image in women and these ideas of self-worth, et cetera. And so we've made a nice duo together, just uh, spreading a message and I think approaching it from slightly different vantage points. Mm -hmm. And people, are, I think, are used to hearing sort of one approach 
one at a time, but to hear sort of uh, two approaches simultaneously, I think gives a, a different sense of perspective. Yeah, actually, and now that you said that, I, that would make sense that, I mean, we do hear them separate, but how often do we hear them together? Yeah. So that's nice. It was very, very nice, you know, interviewing with you. And you've got a great message. And do you have a website or a way that um, people can get um, in touch with you about your book? Absolutely. Uh, www.theflexdiet.com. All so. right. Excellent. Uh, again, this is Gigi with Living Real, and we're on the Price of Business. Have a good evening.